Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's episode, I will be doing another episode review for the latest episode of Da Da Dun 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 Da Da Dun 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 The X Files. After a brief hiatus, our favorite Fox series is back, and it uh, came back with a hell of an episode. This was, like, by far one of the most entertaining episodes of this season, and that is saying a lot because I seriously enjoyed the last one so, so much with Skinner and the Vietnam that that was a great episode. In fact, I want to go back and rewatch it. And I may want to rewatch this one too because it was just so damn good and so, you know, well written and just uh, excellent pacing. And uh, before I get all, into all the details, of course, please be warned. Excuse me. This is a spoiler-filled review, so if you're not cut up on the latest episode of The X-Files, do not keep watching or listening, as I will be discussing spoilers and plot details for the latest episode. So you have been warned. Spoilers here on out, starting now. I loved the opening scene. Like, the opening scene captured perfectly what it's like nowadays when two people, whether it's uh, two friends or a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a husband or a wife, everybody has their faces planted on their phone. And this is not a criticism toward anybody. I mean, I'm just as guilty of it as anybody else, but it's just become second nature to us. We're constantly on our phones if we're not speaking to each other. And that is exactly what this opening scene did. Like as they're waiting to get their food from this robot run cafe that's serving sushi and whatnot and gives Mulder hilariously the wrong food order and then Scully laughs and then takes a picture of him with it as if she was going to post it on social media or something. It's just, it, you know, it was just like such a perfect, the opening scene, the opening sequence just so perfectly captured and represented what goes on in today's world. That's what people do when they're at restaurants, when they're waiting for their food. If they're not speaking to each other, they're on their phones doing whatever. And then if something funny happens, one will laugh, take a photo, and then take a photo with the other person in it. It's just... You know, it was just, it just felt so real, the whole opening sequence. Well, except for the artificial intelligence part, that felt, you know, that was obviously the fantasy part. But everything Skulder, Skulder, <laughs> everything Scully and Mulder were doing on their phones throughout this whole episode really was incredibly realistic, all the way up to that god-awful, annoying, oh, hi, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, I was having trouble with my headset. I love that they threw that in, because I, I hate that telemarketing call, I hate, hate, hate that call, that scam, scheme, whatever you want to call it, that, oh, hello, hello, oh, I'm sorry, I was struggling with my headset line, that drives me insane. That drives me nuts. And I love that they threw it in there because this episode was like not only making fun of people and their dependence on uh, technology, but it also reminded us how we tend to take this kind of stuff for granted and how we may take uh, uh, the people we love for granted as well. Because we had that beautiful closing shot of uh, the two of them holding hands and uh, putting deliberately putting their phones face down so they don't have to get any more alerts alerts, messages, uh, emails, whatever. And they're just enjoying the moment with each other. And then obviously, you know, there was like, I think, I think a bit of a moral to the story to this episode about don't become too reliant on uh, technology. It may lead uh, to your downfall. And I think that's meant to uh, be a message towards uh, uh, individuals like Mulder and Scully, and then maybe to the human race in general, that we should appreciate what we have and we should never, ever take it for granted, especially when it comes to uh, technology. And this episode also did a excellent job of reminding us of how dependent we are on uh, automation and uh, robotics and uh, different uh, just different kinds of like various forms of artificial intelligence that aren't quite as advanced or as capable as the robots we saw in this episode in this in this show but you know the the message was still clear is that don't become too reliant on uh overly reliant on technology, especially artificial intelligence, because who knows, you know, it is a learning thinking machine and it learns a lot 
from its users, from its creators. And I love Mulder's line, like one of the few lines spoken throughout the whole episode, we have to be better teachers or we got to be better teachers. And, you know, that was another thing that was great about this episode. It was so well done and there was little to no dialogue from either character. I mean, neither one of them says a word that entire opening sequence while they're waiting for to get their food and then their food comes in the cafe and then they struggle to get out of there and then Mulder refuses to leave a tip and so they won't give him his credit card. And, you know, just this whole episode was just so well done. I don't know if it was the way it was written or the way it was directed or the awesome performances by uh, David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. But, you know, this whole episode was just so well put together and just so well paced. And uh, that's probably why it's uh, one of the best episodes of this season. I mean, it has a super high rating on IMDb. People seem to be really be responding to it. And uh, it was, you know, the best part is that they weren't even working a case. They weren't investigating anything. They were just trying to enjoy dinner, just the two of them. And then they end up fighting for their lives against artificial intelligence. And, you know, they're doing things that people do every single day in their lives, you know, constantly whether they're, they're on the phone with the credit card company or they're setting a home alarm system or anything like that you know it's just this episode just really uh made you think like you were entertained and it also really made you think like huh huh hmm wow that's really making me uh question uh uh, technology or artificial intelligence. This is this is really saying a lot, you know. And, and it was here's a great part too is that it felt like a horror movie at moments where it's like you know you have the character alone in their own home and they come under attack by an unseen hostile force. And in this case, it's uh, robotics. And uh, it's uh, it, you know it just like I said, it's just so well shot and well paced and just so well done. This whole episode. Where I'm just like, damn, this is good. This is really, really good. I mean, I, I, I'm enjoying it immensely, and um, you know, it, it just uh, turned out really well. And I, I love the moral of the story. Is that uh, you know, I think, I think one of the morals of the story was we are a role model for someone or something. You know, it's like Fox said, we gotta be better teachers. And I think that applies to uh, both uh, artificial intelligence and then uh, living uh, biological organisms. Obviously, in this case, our fellow humans, you know, our fellow uh, men, women, and children and such, you know, that people learn from each other and from watching others. And clearly that was what happened in this episode where... You know, uh, they uh, almost paid the price for uh, not tipping, <laughs> which I think is uh, such a fun, uh, clever way to uh, really get someone to appreciate what they have is by threat going after them and then finally giving them one last chance to tip. And sure enough, it saves their lives. So great episode. Great, great episode. Really enjoyed it. What did you guys think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Was this your new favorite episode? Did you not care for it? Please leave your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from everybody. Stay subscribed and stay tuned to The Edward for more content and episode reviews like this one. The X-Files are back with new episodes every Wednesday night on Fox. Check it out. It has been a really interesting season so far, and I'm Looking forward to the next episode, as I hope you all are as well. Have a great rest of the night, everybody. Thanks again for watching. And of course, until next time, the truth is out there. <laughs>